It was a celebrity studied occasion when the Kinematograph Rental Society played host to the Lords of the Admiralty and the Royal Naval Film Corporation with a dinner at Pinewood Studios. The film industry chiefs, stars and the backroom boys mingled with the Navy's top names at this event, which is a great annual attraction. Admiral Sir Peter Reid arriving and greeting by Mr. Monty Morton, President of the KRS. Welcoming arrivals also were John Davis and James Carreras. Admiral of the Fleet, Earl Mountbatten of Burma, arrives. But the highlight of the evening was the arrival of His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, patron of the RNFC, who was attending for the first time in this capacity. Gary Cooper chatted with Max Bygraves while a lovely feminine version of a yeoman of the guard brought round the sherry. It was a royal, naval and film occasion, a very fine combination. The Duke of Edinburgh has long had the pleasantest associations with all sections of the film industry. Years ago, he met Gary Cooper. Now, he was renewing acquaintance with such famous American film people as Mike Frankovich, Spiders Cowdus and the great Willie Wyler, who afterwards had a chat with John Mills. The Duke's uncle, Earl Mountbatten, is also very much at home among film people. Of course, the main business of the evening was the dinner, to which all the company did the justice demanded by a repast, which afterwards won all-round praise. The Duke, in a speech laced with the wit for which he is famous, praised the film industry for supplying pictures to HM ships. He said that although the Lords of the Admiralty had the welfare of officers and ratings very much at heart, they didn't go to the length of supplying them with films hired at commercial rates. In more serious vein, his Royal Highness praised the film industry for the great help it had given him in various appeals, in particular for raising money for the playing fields. There was laughter and all-round applause when the speech ended. On the set they were making the epic film about Cleopatra. The Duke and Earl Mountbatten spoke to some of the actors. Ruben Mamoulian, who directs Cleopatra, signalled a beautiful missile to flash across the scene. The Duke of Edinburgh looks back upon many pleasant meetings with the film industry, but it is doubtful whether even he remembers a more enjoyable one than this.